Right, perfect. I think we'll get started then. So good morning, everybody. Uh, for those of you that haven't met or seen me before on one of our webinars, my name's Emma and I'm one of the connoisseurs here at Panache Cruises. We're joined today, we're very lucky, we're joined by uh, James and Louise from Oceania, um, who are going to talk to us about all things Alaska. Uh, now, for those of you who've watched any of our, uh, any of our webinars or spoken to me on any occasions, you'll know that I'm a huge, huge fan um, of Oceania cruises. Um, I sail with them quite regularly. Um, I've got some future cruises booked with them. So I'm always very excited to talk all things Oceania with you. Um, for those that haven't seen us before or haven't joined one of our webinars, I'll just give you a quick brief introduction to Panache Cruises, who we are, what we do, um, and more importantly, what we can do differently for you. So we were founded by um, a gentleman called James Cole, who really is um, an industry veteran. Uh, James has um, been you know, around for quite a number of years. He's been, um, he's launched some very, very successful cruise brands over the years. And his real passion is about customer service. And that's where our personal connoisseur service comes into play. So what that means for you is that you will speak to your individual connoisseur and that will be from start to finish. So we will take care of every element of the holiday for you. Um, and that's as much or as little as you, you'd like, whatever you'd prefer us to do. Um, so that may be as simple as just organising the holiday, um, organising your shore excursions, your dinner reservations, pre-booking your seats on the aircraft, whatever it is, um, that's going to really enhance your holiday experience. Nothing at all is too much trouble for us here at Panache. Um, we're a relatively small team. We've all um, worked together for, for quite some time. Um, I've worked with James now for 13 years, so we all get on very well. And we've got over 100 years combined experience. So you're definitely in safe hands whenever you come to us here with Panache Cruises. Um, it's not just myself that's a big fan of Oceania. We all are as individuals, and I know James very much so enjoys Oceania cruises. Um, any questions at all that you can think of, then my details will be on the screen at the end of the presentation. But for anybody that's watching live with us today, if you do have any questions as we're going through the presentation, there is a chat box at the bottom of the screen. So just move your mouse over that, pop your question in there, and hopefully we'll be able to answer them at the end of the presentation. If not, I'll be in touch individually with everybody. So with no further ado, I will pass you over to James and we'll get started talking all things Alaska. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Emma. Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is well. My name is James Scott and I'm the Business Development Manager for the UK and Ireland here at Oceana Cruises. I'm joined today alongside my colleague Louise Craddock, who is the sales manager for the South. Over the course of the next 30 minutes, Louise and I will be, go will be taking you through our incredible Oceana Cruises product, as well as the beautiful Alaska. So before we start, I'm just going to begin with a brief overview of our health, safety and wellness protocols. To protect our guests, our crew and the communities we visit, we have developed a robust and comprehensive health and safety, uh, health and safety strategy with new and enhanced protocols to create multi, uh, multiple layers of protection against COVID-19. Our science-backed plan for a safe and healthy return to cruising was developed in conjunction with a, divert, with, in conjunction with a diverse group of globally recognised experts and will be continuously improved and refined using the best available science and technology. While I could go into great detail regarding all of our protocols, it would take um, it would simply take too long. But what I can say is that we are uh, we are busy making cruising the safest travel experience. A selection of the protocols are all guests and crew must be vaccinated, universal testing of all guests and crew, responsible social distancing measures and controlled capacity health and safety requirements and protocols will continue to evolve. For more information and details on our health, safety and wellness protocols, please visit, visit our dedicated landing page on our website at www.oceanacruises.com forward slash health. 
So as you may or may not know, our beautiful and elegant ships already have generous space per guest and they are perfectly suited to our return to sailing. The acclaimed onboard experience and service levels will not be diminished in any way whatsoever and in, fa in fact enhanced in many ways. Many of these enhancements will be behind the scenes, but importantly, you will only see positive changes to your enjoyment when cruising with Oceana Cruises. As today's presentation is all about the expansive beauty and wellness of Alaska, I will talk today about our stunning ship, Regatta. Regatta is our only ship which sails Alaska and sails our Alaskan itineraries. Regatta is part of our Regatta class ships and holds 684 guests with 400 crew. So it's a fantastic uh, staff to guest ratio. Regatta is 33,000 tons, so she can navigate into those smaller, spectacular ports of call. What there's nothing better than being able to sail Alaska on a small ship, being able to get up close and personal with the glaciers, for example. Regatta has been through a multi-year initiative called Oceana Next. Oceana Next has, um, has completely re-inspired and restyled Regatta as well as our three, as well as Regatta's three sister ships, uh, the other th uh, three Regatta class ships. I'll talk about the Oceana Next project in a little bit more detail as we progress through today's presentation. We also offer small group excursions, offering a personalised and enriching destination experiences. Here at Oceana Cruises, we're all about local destination immersion. And finally, we have an elegant, uh, elegant casual ambiance on board. No jacket or tie is required. So welcome on board. As I briefly mentioned, Regatta has been through an incredible has been through our incredible Ocean and Next project. Our Ocean and Next project is an initiative which is set to completely re-inspire and transform our Regatta class ships, leaving our ships looking better than new. The ships uh, previous to their re-inspiration had a country house, a type of ambiance, and we really wanted to keep this traditional feel while providing the ships with a contemporary modern twist. We initially, initially forecasted 100 million on this inspiration um, across the regatta class ships. However, we've already eclipsed 150 million, so it just demonstrates the level of quality which is going into the Oceana Next project. You'll find the biggest transformations um, with the Ocean X projects is, is within the staterooms. I have images slightly further on in today's, presentation, in today's presentation to showcase these. However, the main changes in the staterooms have been new doors, new full length mirrors, polished woods and brand new power sockets with USB connectivity. Brand new stateroom bathrooms, which boasts a sleek design with polished granite and onyx surroundings. We also have um, brand new sliding glass shower doors as well, which uh, replace shower curtains. We also have new colour schemes uh, with a beautiful white and blue uh, colour palette, which really does evoke sea and sky. And within our penthouse suites, we have a brand new colour palette as well, which are whites, silvery greys and sapphires. Silvery greys and sapphires. From this image specifically, you will see um, the sparkling new grand staircase with intricate railings and balustrades which are inserted with crystal. You can also see here the dark woods and mahogany browns which have, uh, which have, been, remain, which have remained and have been re-inspired as part of the Ocean and Next project. You will also see the stunning chandelier which is embellished with hanging pieces of smoke and hand-painted glass. Here we have Martinis, which is our cocktail bar. Martinis has been re-inspired and restyled. Here you can see the glamorous soft furnishings, uh, modern artwork and stylish lighting. Next up, we have our library. Here you will see we have kept the country house ambiance, but we have ensured we kept our furniture reupholstered and the library looking beautiful with new carpets and decorations. Here we have Horizons. Horizons is a perfect area to enjoy a pre or post dinner drink. Horizons boasts artwork from all around the world and provides a 180 degree picture view from the front, uh, from the front, of, um, from the front of the ship. Horizons is perfect to enjoy an alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverage or a tea or coffee to relax and unwind in and live music is also played in Horizons throughout the evening. 
And then finally, we have a beautiful shot of our sun deck terrace with the Alaskan terrains in the background. The beds are yet to be dressed for the day as this photo was taken early morning, just to showcase the beauty of the Alaskan terrains in the background. It's a stunning image. I'm now going to talk about our incredible cuisine on board. Oceana Cruises have the finest cuisine at sea and that is trademarked to Oceana Cruises. We invest heavily in our overall culinary experience, so we're very proud of this. We provide open-seated dining with more space per guest in our restaurants, and I will go further um, into further detail on our restaurants further on in today's presentation. We have a commitment to sourcing the best ingredients from around the world with talented and innovative chefs selected from the world's best restaurants. We have many new and exciting recipes as well as enhanced meal ordering protocols. And we have a sumptuous array of specialty restaurants which are included complimentary in our guest cruise fare. These restaurants include Red Ginger, which is our, which is our Asian infusion restaurant, Toscana, which is our traditional authentic Italian restaurant, Polo Grill, our beautiful steakhouse and seafood restaurant, and Jack's, our French restaurant. So I'll begin um, with our grand dining restaurant on board Regatta. Breakfast, lunch and dinner is served daily in our grand dining restaurant with inspiration for dishes taken from the destinations that you're visiting. There are no set dining times, there's open seated dining and there are no formal nights. However, the restaurant does have an elegant setting. And then we have our Terrace Cafe. Terrace Cafe is our buffet area. However, it's not your traditional buffet as our crew serve you. And if you'd like your food run to your table, our crew will also do this as well. Terrace Cafe boasts an array of cuisine from a sumptuous breakfast selection, roasted and rotisserie meats, pizza from our pizza oven, or even lobster tails, lamb chops, or freshly made hand cut sushi. You can enjoy our Terrace Cafe both inside and al fresco in our al fresco area outside. We then have Waves Grills. Waves Grills offers an extensive mouth-watering lunch menu as well as juices, smoothies and healthy energy bowls. During lunch you can watch our uh, chefs grill gourmet burgers and succulent seafood accompany accompanying them with dishes such as garden fresh salads or hand-cut truffle fries. So I'm now going to speak about um, our two specialty restaurants on board Regatta. So um, the first one I'm going to begin with is Polo Grill. So Polo uh, Grill embodies all the elements of a classic steakhouse and seafood restaurant. The decor features crisp white linen tablecloths, dark wood furnishings and burgundy leather chairs. Our beef is USDA prime and dry aged for 28 days, which enhances the tenderness and flavor. Signature dishes within Polo Grill include the King's Cut 32 ounce prime rib steak with garlic mashed potato or cream spinach, as well as, as succulent seafood such as grilled sawfish or whole main lobster. We then have Toscana. So, so uh, Toscana is our authentic Italian cuisine. Our cuisine in Toscana has actually evolved from rich family traditions. Many of our recipes have originated from the mothers and grandmothers of our own Italian culinary crew. So we've actually approached our own Italian culinary crew and asked them to bring their family recipes on board. So you can really get a sense of how authentic and personalised the experience in Toscana is. All dishes are presented on elegant, custom designed uh, Versace china and signature Dishes include the octopus carpaccio with champagne vinaigrette or the artichoke and parmesan cheese tumbler with black truffle sauce. Toscana is also known for its exquisite bread basket and selection of olive oils. So as well as cuisine, we're also known for our beautifully appointed suites and staterooms on board. Included as standard across all of our suites and staterooms are free soft drinks which are replenished daily free still and sparkling Vero water. Vero water is our plastic reduction scheme on board and all water is served in Vero glass bottles and it reduces our plastic consumption on board um, drastically. We have a 24 hour butler service in all of our suites, Bulgari amenities across all of our stateroom bathrooms and also our ultra tranquility bed. 
Our ultra tranquility bed is an Oceana Cruises exclusive with a thousand thread count Egyptian a thousand thread count Egyptian cotton linen. And each mattress has a mattress topper which is infused with calamite oil, so it's a fantastic night's sleep. So I'm going to begin with our verandas and concierge level verandas. We do have insides and outsides on board. However, our main bulk of accommodations do begin at veranda level. You can see here the beautiful re-inspired stateroom on board regatta with the beautiful white and blue color palettes. They really do evoke sea and sky. The, um, the veranda and concierge level veranda on board regatta class are 216 square foot, so it's a fantastic size. Both the veranda and concierge level verandas are identical in size, however, with the con concierge level veranda, guests do receive additional amenities such as unlimited access to the Aquamar Spa Terrace. The Aquamar Spa Terrace is a private retreat which is situated in our Aquamar Spa and Vitality Centre and it provides our guests exclusive access to sun lounges and whirlpools. Also, expanded lunch and dinner room service um, from our grand dining room menu and priority embarkation and speciality restaurant bookings. So here's a slightly um, larger image um, showcasing our concierge, uh, sorry, our veranda and concierge level verandas. So next up we have our penthouse suites. Our penthouse suites boast a beautiful white, sapphire and silvery, silvery grey colour palette and the suites have been re-inspired as part of the Oceana Next project. The penthouse suites are 322 square foot so again a fantastic size. Guests will receive all concierge level amenities plus additional amen uh, penthouse amenities such as a 24 hour butler service, priority online speciality restaurant bookings, and priority ship embarkation and luggage delivery from noon. And here's a, a beautiful larger image of our penthouse grades. And then finally, we have our Vista and owners suites on board. So our Vista suite on board regatta range from 786 square foot to 1000 square foot. Our guests will receive all concierge and penthouse level amenities plus additional suite amenities such as priority ship embarkation from 11 a.m. Complimentary in-suite bar set up with six full-size uh, full bottles of premium spirits and wines which can be selected from our onboard beverage menu as well as choice of pillow from our extensive pillow menu. And then finally, we have our owner's suite on board. The owner's suite is our top level accommodation and has been uh, re-inspired as part of our Oceana Next project. And the uh, owner's suite has also been furnished by Ralph Lauren at home. The owner's suite spans the entire width of the aft of the ship, so you can get a, a good perspective of how large the owner's suite is. The owner's suite features a beautiful foyer area, plus a stunning living room area, bedroom, bathroom, and a large veranda. So at this stage, I'm now going to hand over to my colleague, Louise, who will take you through everything Alaska and Oceana Cruises. Thank you very much. Thank you, James. Um, oh, I'm absolutely starving now after <laughs> all those lovely uh, foodie images. Um, well, hello, everybody. Um, you're listening now to Louise Craddock, who is a sales manager for Oceania Cruises. And just to let you know that we actually go to 450 different destinations. We're renowned for our overnight stays, longer time in the ports, and we visit the smaller, more boutique ports of call that the larger ships um, can't get into. We also have an incredible 180 day world cruise. Now I'm hoping somebody is going to be moving the slides on for me. Thank you so much. So we're going to talk about Alaska today and we're very lucky at Oceania because we go to the main ports and we're not going to go through every single port today but we've highlighted some of the really wow experiences that you can have. So starting with Skagway, um, uh, this is a fantastic smaller port where it's kind of famous for the for the gold rush you'll literally be able to step off the ship and you will go back in time and see lots of bars and taverns 
and lots of old fashioned street cars. A lot of the employees will be dressed up in the times of the gold rush. And at Oceania, we offer such extensive shore excursions. And Alaska is one of those places that you, that you may want to do a couple of shore excursions in one day. So just to highlight some of those for you today, um, one of the famous shore excursions in this port is the White Pass Scenic Railway, which will literally take you up to the summit of the Klondike. You can um, go for a lovely um, streetcar experience in one of the old fashioned cars. Um, if you are a little bit more adventurous, you can go on one of the longest zip lines in the world. There's also rock climbing, but Skagway is a fantastic place to um, also take a helicopter ride. Um, and this is where you'll take off and you'll land on a glacier and you'll be able to step outside of the helicopter and be on top of the world. This um, is another port as well, which is perfect if you want to go and try your hand at some gold panning. Um, I highly recommend that tour. You can go, um, you do a little bit of gold panning and that you can also go um, on the dog um, slaying um, experience as well. So, so much to do. Highly recommend two shore excursions in this port. So we'll move on to the next port, which is Ketchikan. Now, this port, it actually rains pretty much every day. You get, um, whenever you go, um, it will rain. So always take some waterproof um, items with you. But this is a great port if you really want to get into the history of Alaska. Um, most of the guests will take a visit out to the totem um, to go and see the totem poles and you can do this at the Saxon, Saxman native village. If you've always wanted to go on a seaplane you can actually do a seaplane experience in this port. You'll take off and you'll land on the fjord and you'll be able to step out of the plane and, and um, stand on the floats. If you fancy um, doing some fishing, this is the best port in Alaska to do um, the salmon fishing experience. And whatever you catch, you can actually bring back on board and our chefs will prepare it for you. Again, if you're a little bit more um, active, there's a canoeing and kayaking experience. And if you really, really want to see a bear, then um, take the float, float plane experience um, to go um, to the Bear Reserve. Okay, we'll go on to the next port. So Kodiak, most cruise lines do not uh, visit this port, but we have one amazing itinerary that does. And you are pretty much guaranteed to see um, a bear and this port. This is the highlight. Um, so I really, um, we, we, we only have um, a couple of itineraries with Kodiak in, but if you really fancy seeing a bear, um, perhaps this would be um, the best port for you. Um, now, if you want to go whale watching, again, this is a great port to do the whale watching. Um, that we also visit Juno as well, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But if that's on the bucket list, um, it's going to be Kodiak and Juno for the for the whale watching. So Juno, the capital of Alaska. Again, this is a port where you really want to do shore excursions in the morning, come back, have lunch on board and then go out again. If you're thinking about doing a helicopter flight, I would definitely, definitely do it in Juneau. We have the Mendenhall Glacier experience that you can do with the helicopter ride. If you want to go whale watching, we have the Whale Watching and Wildlife Crest. This is pretty much my favourite, favourite tour. And um, we also have a wonderful um, flight experience to Taku Lodge. And this is where there's a salmon bake and you will likely see the whales, um, the bears. So the bears will come out. Um, it's a regular experience 
um, just brilliant. But Juno is it's very cosmopolitan. It's packed full of, of native artwork. So perhaps you want to do a shore excursion in the morning, come back, have lunch, and then literally just stroll around Juno in the afternoon to pick up all your gift items. It is definitely the highlight um, port of the cruise. Sitka is um, again another lovely port. My favourite tour is the Sea Otter and Wildlife Quest. Um, it has a lot more rugged terrain, um, but in contrast, um, it has a lot of history uh, around Russian America. And there's um, a raptor center as well. So if you fancy seeing the bold eagles, this would be a great port. If you want to get into the Russian heritage and see the dancing, um, this would be the great uh, port for you. So at Oceania, we have what is called an unlimited passport collection. This is an add-on and basically you can add this on to the cost of the holiday and your shore excursions will be included. Some of the more expensive shore excursions, such as the helicopter flight, for example, these are a little bit extra. So because you have the passport, you'll just pay a small supplement to upgrade to the more unique shore, shore excursions. Now you'll add the passport onto your booking and then at 365 days prior to the cruise, you'll be able to go into the system and select all of your shore excursions. This offers great value for money. And because I've mentioned you can do two shore excursions in one day, this is a very cost effective way of doing it. So we're gonna give you some of those costs as well when we take you through some of the sailings. So we do have what we call some go local tours. These are where we have less guests and it's really immersive and it's the, the tours that are like a once in a lifetime money can't buy experiences. And just to highlight one of these, um, we have this great go local tour in Juneau. And this is where you can actually go out to the Alaska Cookery School and you'll be able to um, learn how to prepare the fresh king king crab um king crab legs and um it's a real gourmet experience so there may only be 10 or 12 guests on this and it's a really really immersive experience so these are this is all very new to oceania and they are proving very very popular so again on the passport or when you go to book your shore excursions you'll see all the information on these go local tours So we'll just move on and tell you as well. So when you go on an, a, an Alaska cruise, you're going to fly into either Vancouver, Seattle or Los Angeles or San Francisco. And we will always provide an overnight stay for you. Now, you, if you want to add on a few more days, um, we offer up to three days pre and post add-ons for you. The Fairmont Waterfront Hotel is our hotel of choice in Vancouver um, and it's absolutely stunning because it's it's literally on the water in Vancouver so we really highly recommend that you maybe add on a couple of days pre or post so we're going to move on and tell you as well about some of our wonderful land programs now again we're really lucky at Oceania um, because um, we have these three to five day pre um, land stay holidays and this is a great opportunity you know Alaska is a long way to go and it is wonderful for you to add on these stays so in Vancouver we have the vineyards vistas and Vancouver um, and this is great because you'll get to see a lot of the wineries um, in Vancouver and this is a five-day pre-land program all of the detail day by day is all on our website so we can send this out to you. For those of you who want to go to Denali National Park, we have a three-day pre-land stay. 
but what we find is most of our guests opt for the Rocky Mountaineer experience and this is a five night pre-land stay. We offer the Gold Leaf service. This is an opportunity for you to see the Rocky Man Mountaineers, uh, Rocky, Mount Rocky Mountains, excuse me, and these trains are absolutely exquisite. The, they have glass domes, the, the actual um, scenery, the, the opportunity to see wildlife. It is amazing and it's so luxurious. You don't sleep on the train. We transfer you to your hotel, but your luggage gets transferred separately and it's so relaxing. It's an absolute VIP experience. So we highly, highly recommend that you add this on. Um, the food is very similar to the foodie experience that you will have with Oceania. And um, I can't uh, tell you enough. I know Emma has experienced this as well, so she'll mention that a little bit later. But um, if you really want that once in a lifetime experience with Alaska, I definitely add on the Rocky Mountaineer. So just to showcase then some of our itineraries, we have a variety of holidays. So this is one of the shorter cruises. So this is a Seattle round trip cruise. Now bearing in mind, flights are included. So the fly cruise package is £3,789 for the balcony. Again, I can't stress to you um, enough how you should upgrade to a balcony. Um, it's just wonderful sitting out on your balcony and enjoying all the views. And look at the unlimited passport there, just incredible value at £348 per person. And that will be all of those shore excursions included for you. So a longer sailing is our 11 day sailing um, from Seattle round trip. This is the 27th of June. Again, a balcony price at £4,859 and that passport add-on at just £608 per person. We have a longer cruise now. So this is where we have back to back two sailings and we are all in love with this because it literally covers every single port in Alaska, a three week holiday and on the 27th of August next year, a balcony at £6,059 with that overnight stay in San Francisco, the passport add on at £1,304 per person and again you can add on the Rocky Mountaineer if, if you wanted to on this one. And we mentioned a couple of cruises where we included the Kodiak. I have to tell you that this cruise is in our top five best-selling cruises for next year. It's a real fire and ice experience incorporating Alaska and going to Kodiak Island and then taking you over to Japan, 25 days, brilliant value for money at a balcony at £6,369 and bear in mind those flights are included in that price. So a little bit of information about Alaska. The Alaska season runs from May to September and um, the weather is always changing so you want to really um, make sure that you take lots of layers with you and I think that's the beauty of Oceania cruises because we don't have any formal nights you don't have to worry about packing that tuxedo or ball gown um, you know we're a casually elegant uh, cruise line so it's absolutely perfect for Alaska I would say June and July will offer the best weather for you, but as I said, uh, expect some showers, especially in Ketchigan. So dress in layers, take a waterproof proof jacket with you, your backpack, proper footwear if you're going to take some of those more active shore excursions, your gloves and your hat, um, your sun protection, Definitely take your camera and some binoculars if you have them. 
on this holiday. But again, we can send out all that information. So I'm, thank you for your time. I'm going to pass you back to Emma now, um, who's going to finish off today's webinar. Thank you very much, Louise. And of course, James, um, as Louise said, I've been lucky enough to um, experience one of those Rocky Mountaineer um, package tours. And it really is, it's an iconic train journey for a reason. It's one of the most memorable experiences that I've had from any holiday, really. So if anybody is looking for some extra insight, little bit of insider's knowledge, then please don't hesitate to get in touch and I can certainly talk through that with anybody. Um, now, as ever, as a thank you for joining us today, um, Oceania are very kindly going to include, <coughs> excuse me, going to include an additional onboard credit for anybody that takes um, a balcony stateroom or above. And that offer is valid for any new bookings made over the next 14 days. We are also going to then include for any new bookings made in the next 14 days, an incredible Fortnum and Mason hamper. So I will be in touch with everybody um, later today with just a copy of the webinar. So you can have a look over it again at your leisure. If there's any questions at all that anybody has, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. I hope you enjoyed the presentation as much as I did. And thank you again for joining us and we'll see you all soon.